big game tonight. The Chicago River winding its way through the heart of the Windy City. Our site tonight. Welcome everyone to Noche Enabia. A Latin theme is the backdrop to tonight's festivities. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Brent Beer. David Aldridge will join us momentarily from the sidelines. Right now let's check out the standings in the Eastern Conference and see how the playoff race is shaping up. You look at the Bulls. They've done well enough to be in fifth place in the conference so far. And of course the Knicks right now quite a ways down below. Well, I think for New York, they're going to stumble towards the finish line this season with the playoffs nowhere near a possibility. And you have to wonder just how different this team will look next season from players to possibly coaches, maybe every level of the organization. And now the New York Knicks starters. It's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five. Kent Bazemore is out there with Peyton, and it's Knox in at the three, the small forward. And for Chicago... Porter and Markin and the duo at forward. Be out there with Zach Levine. And it's Marjanovic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. B. Robinson with the block. And here we go. Fast break. Peyton's got it. Lays it up off the glass. Could be a transition free for all tonight. Brent, what's your feeling about going for the open three on the break rather than taking it in for a higher percentage shot in the layup? Well, nowadays we know that the three-pointer actually means more for any given team. What I'm analytically, you're right. Analytically, yes. but Kevin, what I'm interested in is on a given night like this where we're going to see a ton of threes, what's the decision-making of the guy with the ball? Sometimes it'll be the point guard. It might be a wing player, but how smart is he at finding the right shooter at the right time at the three-point line on this pass? Making those big decisions. You're right. Now here's Bazemore. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Uh, Kent Bazemore knows that his contributions come from being active and Bazemore becoming a better passer. Markinen passes to B. Tries again. Randall with some nice D. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here, still looking for their first mate. Bazemore, no one around him. Bangs home the trifecta. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Victory eluded them last time in New York when they took on the Knicks. Yeah, tough game on the road. The, the guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. And the foul on Kent Bazemore. That's his first foul. B covered by Peyton. Shot to stop the run. Is it getting cold in here, Kevin? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. In building this lead, they've done a terrific job finishing the defensive sequences with the backboard. That has been key. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Well, the Knicks had a lot of turnover trading for expiring contracts. They did what they could to accommodate the wishes of a lot of vets. Yeah, the problem right now for the Knicks is they're not inviting to a lot of free agents, and that's really where they're trying to make their play. So fascinating over the course of the past decade that New York has not been able to attract the top-tier talent. So building through the draft, Coach Fisdale hopeful that they'll land a star one way or another. Bulls shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Both shots good from the strike. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. The layup off target. Here's B. Drains the jumper to finish the break. Well, the season is still has some time to go, but right now, you have to think that Jay is the odds-on favorite to be Rookie of the Year. He's just done so much for this team all season. Great. I'd be hard-pressed to name another rookie that has come in and transformed their team 
the way that Shea has elevated this roster. Anything can happen. We know that with the awards. But right now, it's Shea's race to lose. And obviously, some good players have taken less money for a chance at a winning championship situation. That's made some rich teams even better. Well, you, you have to appreciate a player in that regard thinking that the financial gains that he could have somewhere else and playing for a team that, that's not capable of doing what it is that you're trying to do, and that's win a championship, that they've decided, look, it's not about that for me. What it is is about the experience of being around a team that elevates itself to being the best team in the league. And if you're fortunate enough at the highest level, Kevin, as a basketball player, to be around a championship, that experience sticks with you for a lifetime. So you do appreciate guys looking for those opportunities to be around a championship. And so it's New York with it, following the three from B. And again, New York with the triple. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Bulls trail by 12. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, I talked with Coach David Fisdale. There are few players more gifted athletically than Zach Levine. Coach made it clear their focus is trying to contain him offensively. Good luck with trying to keep him between the ball and the basket. Thank you, David. The Bulls making a switch here. Young's checked in. Portis, who's checked in for the Knicks. Dennis Smith comes in for Peyton. The Knicks leading by 11. Up top, Baysmore. Guarded by Levine. Pass to Knox. New York moving it around. Smith kicks it to Baysmore. Lock at six. New York needs to get off a shot. Portis can't get it to go. Here's B. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially. Oh. No and that athleticism has always been a big part of Levine's game. He makes dunking look easy. Smith, the pass to Portis. Now Randall over Young. And there's another one for the Knicks. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be... Oh, oh man. man. Fans love it. Listen to that. I love that sound <laughs> in the arena. And I gotta say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. And the former Razorback, Bobby Portis, took a few years to find his spot in the NBA. Now, he does produce. And, and great big man to bring in off the bench. Good size and quickness combination. He will always give you scoring with that second move. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Here's Randall. Randall can't get that one to fall. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Portis, the bounce pass. Young against Randall. Out to Smith. The high post shot. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Markinen's got four rebounds in this game. Here's B. It's rebounded by New York. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. You know, those road games are tricky, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. You know, watching that game quarter to quarter, they sped up, they slowed down, but they executed in every facet. Shots good from Young. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. 
Smith scanning the floor. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on B. That's foul number two for him. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything. Ends up going with the new group. A different look for New York. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, Peyton attacking with the tip, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Peyton's got six. Yeah, don't want to lose track of Peyton inside. He has size at that guard position and was crafty. Used his body and athleticism to track down a no rebound. We've got Murray. Porter is out there with Markinen. Then there's B, and it's done in at the one. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Yeah, looking up at the scoreboard, guys, that's his third foul, and his coach has to consider now sitting him down. Well, few players in the NBA are as scary as Dennis Smith Jr. when he has speed towards the rim. Smith just attacks with a ferociousness when he puts the ball on the floor. It can leap out of the building and, and strong enough to dunk over and through just about any player. Still developing the rest of his game, but you like his aggression when going to the hoop. Baysmore with it, now guarded by Porter. Marking in against Baysmore. Kicks to Payton. Shot clock at six. Passes it to Robinson. From the baseline. That's in. Coming off an assist from Payton. Robinson's got his second bucket. Well, you risk getting torched when somebody's open. Payton's skilled enough to find the open man. B. Covered by Payton. Here's B. And the Bulls tack on two more. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Baysmore misses. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. B in that last game against the 76ers was superb. He had 42 points, and as usual, he spent a fair amount of time at the foul line. The numbers in that game make me anxious to see what he can do tonight. Kevin? David, we appreciate the update. Greg, we'll see if he can keep rolling here tonight. Yeah, and that's the rub. When he's in rhythm, he can carry your team across the line. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention. For New York, they have shot 75% of the strike, 6 of 8, and that one misses. Now, Kevin Knox got a ton of experience in his rookie year playing for the New York Knicks. The ninth overall pick in 2018 out of Kentucky. Played nearly 30 minutes a game. That's a, a lot of minutes to try to understand your game at the pro level and then what you need to work on. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. For Chicago, they have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Knicks trail by 11. Smith with a wide open look, and it's off from three point range. Chicago's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. B, it doesn't go for him, and New York will come the other way. And following this game, they'll challenge the Grizzlies on the road at the FedEx Forum in Memphis. That'll be the third game of this three game road trip. And it's blocked. Sensational coverage by Bazemore there. His length makes him a threat to always be able to block shots like that. Randall's checked in for Alfred Payton. There's 45 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's B. Nice spin off the left rim and in. B's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bulls. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. Yeah, I don't think he even sees a taller defender out there. Just a gifted scorer. Smith finds Robinson. Randall down low. Shoots a fader. And the basket is good. Randall's got seven. Now you can see the touch and the improvement in that touch right there. 
B, covered by Smith. The shot's good from B. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive stop. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. For New York, they have gone six of nine at the line. And he knocks down the first one. The ninth pick in the 2017 NBA draft, Smith Jr. made the NBA's all rookie team after a very solid first year in Dallas averaging 15 points and five assists and he sure is not looking to stop there and so it's Chicago up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter they've been putting on a clinic in the paint shots are falling with regularity and they are pounding it down low we've got more in store for you right after this and after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play up. He's checked in for Chicago. Now the shot clock resets to 14 seconds on an offensive rebound. Brent, do you like that change? I think digging into the numbers a little bit, Kevin, it only affects about 3% of total possessions. Is that all? Yeah, throughout the course of the year. Not, not in any given game. So it's very, very, no kidding. very, very minimal what happens. But what I like is that, you know, players have to reset quickly with 14 on the clock. And I think coaches are starting to think about how it is they might have quick sets as opposed to getting the ball to the top of the key and trying to run through a traditional set. Maybe you have quick sets after the reset to get yourself a better shot. A stretch. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. And New York, looking at who they've got. Max and Randall, they're the forwards. Alfred Payton is out there with Kent Baseball. And it's Robinson in at the five. Knicks trail by 10. Payton passes to Robinson. Now the pass to Knox. Payton with the ball. Back to Knox. Trying to get open is Randall, and the basket by Knox. Knox has got nine points. Well, Knox getting these kind of baskets really going to help the entire offense to get going. Here's B. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. And, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. New York shooting an efficient 53% from the field. Baysmore misses. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. The team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? And Baysmore kicks to Robinson. Pass to Baysmore. Six to shoot. Robinson misses. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He says, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, we all know that circumstances and time changes everything. In Dallas, Dennis Smith Jr. thought he was going to be the cornerstone. But with the arrival of Luka Doncic, everything changed. The promising point guard was traded to the Knicks, and Smith said it was important. It's a big opportunity, and I've just got to make the most of it. But Kevin, we know one thing in New York. The ball is back in Smith's hands. D.A., that's when he is at his back. Thank you. Uh, you got to like the vision for marketing. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And for a player that didn't come in with a lot of fanfare to the NBA, Markkinen is one of the top young players in the league. Yeah, call him the Marks.
Chicago leading by six. 103 left to play in the third. Gets the three-pointer to fall. That's 12 points for Thaddeus Young. And the advantage they have starting to increase. Things are coming together for them at a really opportune time. Coaches always talk about the first five minutes of the third quarter. They have definitely increased their energy level here. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The Bulls have gone 7 of 11 from the line. That's good from B. Marjanovic checked in for Carter. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Bazemore is checked in. Knicks trail by nine. Mills passes to Portis. There's the feed to Robinson. Bazemore for three. The rebound by Marjanovic. Marjanovic has got seven rebounds in the game. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Smith against Levine. Smith kicks to Portis. Back to Smith. With one on the clock, and that one is good. Smith's got seven now in this quarter. Smith Jr. knocking down a mid-range jumper. And so it's the Chicago Bulls bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. The Bulls leading by seven. And small forward and powerful. Porter and Young. Zach Levine is out there with B. And it's Marjanovic in at the five spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Here's a chance now to check out the New York Knicks upcoming schedule. On Wednesday. They'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Memphis Grizzlies. Then on Friday, they'll head home and take on the Minnesota Timberwolves. And looking at the schedule, it isn't ideal in terms of the upcoming games with the amount of quality teams they're going to be playing, but it's also a good chance for you to get some confidence and, and really see just how good you are. To the middle. Here's Portis, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Well, there's a couple things that Patty is working on to be a better player in this league, and finding the open man is one of them. Here's B. There's another block. Defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Marjanovic passes to B. And stolen by Bazemore. Inside. Without that one, the Bulls' lead has been cut down now to just three on the basket from Smith. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Here's B. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And right now, at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. And one difference this half is that when they get to the line, they're converting. Well, the defense has failed to cut off any of these driving lanes, which is why they're resorting to fouling him, and he's hurting them from the charity strike. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. You have to like what we're seeing from B. A smart move here. Talk things over. He's really eating them up, and they've tried a few different looks defensively. Nothing quite getting it done. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Coach Fisdale was going over with his team. I told him this is gut check time. This is when it gets real and when it gets fun. We're here to play in these big moments. Let's make this one count. Kevin, by my count, that's five cliches. Banked in off the glass. He's got 39. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. Young against Portis. 
Smith for three. That is Young grabs the miss. Young's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. B covered by Mills. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And he is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. The Knicks making a switch here. Knox is checked in. On the free throw, no good. Knicks trail by nine. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. Wayne Ellington's checked in for the Knicks. Peyton comes in for Smith. Good on both. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. Here's Ellington, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. One is off. Chicago making a switch here. Markinen's checked in. And he sinks the second. The Bulls leading by eight. B covered by Peyton. No good from B. And he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Ellington kicks to Payton. From the stripe, and he makes that one. Uh, the more he drains those mid-rangers, the more it boosts his confidence. Chicago's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Clearly a foul. And he makes the first. Both free throws good from B. Knicks trail by eight. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Pass to Knox. And a wide open look for Portis. Sinks the three-pointer. Pretty sweet pass there as Knox showing his ability to read the floor. Here's B. It's rebounded by Portis. Yeah, and he had the D tangled up there with that patented crossover. Just couldn't convert the finish. Baysmore misses. The Bulls leading by five. Here's Levine. A shot off that time. Here's Knox. He's guarded by Markinen. Portis trying to free himself. Knox misses. The Bulls have gone just 33% from the field. Oh! And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. New York calls timeout. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here, and not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups, sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. Chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, B. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Now here's Peyton. He's tightly guarded, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on B. That will be foul number five on him. Here's Peyton, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Zach Levine. Yeah, that's pretty aggressive by Alfred Payton. To draw a foul inside the paint, the D looks flustered. Two 
The first one falls. Well, we've seen indications of Peyton and his all-around game, but we just would want to see the evolution of the shot come along, just more consistent from the outside. That's the next step. The Bulls leading by five. Here's B. Larkin and down low. Randall on him. Six on the shot clock. B the pass to Marjanovic. Baysmore with it. Back to Peyton. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Peyton's got 12 points here in the second half. Bulls have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Here's B. And he uses the glass on the layup. And the bully by five. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Dayton finds Randall. From 15 feet away and too long on the shot. The Bulls have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the tip. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. I like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on B. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. And he has to take that long, slow walk back to the bench here. He'll watch the... Mills with it. And so Chicago takes this one. And by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly. And the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see.